What's going on YouTube? Easy Tech 231 here. What am I doing with my hands? I don't really know. But the box that we're going to be unboxing today is the LG V20. Now, I just got this in the mail today. LG sent this out to me. This is actually a preview unit, so this is not the final unit that everybody will be getting. Uh, so I just thought I'd do an unboxing of it. I'd give you guys my first impressions, especially since I did not get the LG V10. So I'm really excited to try this guy out. LG also sent me a pair of H3s by B&O. Um, never really heard of these, never really tried them out. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at both of these products here today. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. All right, so I actually don't know too much about the LG V20. Other than that, it's like a media lover's dream or something like that. It's got a whole bunch of cool stuff going on here. And uh, wow, this is a very interesting unboxing experience here. Kind of like a trifold thing going on here. So we got the phone here. We got some accessories here. And then we have the battery here. Yes, this phone does use a removable battery. LG is still hanging on to that. And I do applaud them for that because everybody else seems to be moving away from removable battery okay what what the heck all right so we're just gonna have to do this a different way here let's go ahead and pull this out all right there we go so we got the v20 out a different way we got it out our way but this is the phone of course in unboxings we'll put the product up to the side and we'll take a look at what else you get in the box first come to think of it it's been a long time since i've done an unboxing video so it's kind of refreshing actually so we do have the wall adapter here for the v20 and then we have the usb type c cable it is a flat cable so that's really nice i do like flat cables i'm a fan of that and then in this box over here we have the back Battery. Wow, it's been a long time since I've used a phone with a removable battery. I think the last one that I used was the Galaxy Note 4. Uh, so yeah, this is actually kind of cool to see a really nice and well-built phone with a removable removable battery. Uh, so I did I did use the G5 for a good amount of time. I don't know if you guys saw my video on it, but I actually really did like that phone. Um, but uh, I couldn't choose it over some of the other phones that I had at the time. It was still a really nice phone. Um, and the, I, you know what? No. So yeah, the LG G5 was actually a really nice phone. I did like it, but I just couldn't choose it over some of the phones that I had. Um, and my dad actually is using it right now. I, I gave him the choice between the 6P, the Moto X from last year, the Moto X Pure, and the G5. He chose the G5 because he liked the size, he liked the dual lenses on the camera, uh, and all that kind of stuff. The dual lenses on the camera, what? He liked the dual lens system and the removable battery and had better battery life anyway. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at the V20 again. I did not get a chance to take a look at the V10. I know you guys wanted to hear that. So yes, I'm really looking forward to checking this guy out. It's supposed to be pretty good. It also has like a, a hi-fi DAC in here uh, for audio lovers, um, which is pretty cool. So whenever you plug in your headphones, you're going to get some pretty premium sound quality coming out of this guy, which is really nice. This plastic is very interesting as well. I'm trying to figure out how to do this here. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. And more plastic here on the left for the buttons i guess or something but yeah this is a really this is a really nice looking phone i, I know you guys can tell the size i can't compare it to my note 7 because i literally just sent it out uh, to get a replacement you guys already know what that's all about now i don't know if you guys can see this you probably can but it does have a pre-installed screen protector right here so that's cool it's very uh very subtle you don't really notice it all that much so here's the fingerprint scanner there's actually plastic on this as well and in fact this is also a button um comparing it to the g5 I actually like this one better than the G5's button. I think the G5's button was a little too loud and clicky uh, for my taste, but this one, this one's not too bad. This one's okay. So LG is pretty much taking stabs at all the other companies that got rid of the removable battery and saying, hey, look, we can still make a really nice phone and include the removable battery because a lot of people still like that. Um, so actually to do this, by the way, you actually have to press this button down and you kind of got to pull the back off here. It's, it's, it's a little difficult to do at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll probably be able to do it really easily. So let's go ahead and pull this off. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the battery here. All right, so here's the battery here, 3,200 milliamps, which is a pretty decent size here. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this in the phone. All right, and you will also see that there is a SIM card slot and the micro SD card slot in here as well. Uh, so yeah, this is a metal back piece here, which is pretty cool. Just smack this right into place. Click, click, click. And there we go. Yeah, the phone is, of course, a lot weightier now. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and turn it on. LG, life's good. Yeah, it is. This phone, if you guys didn't already know, also has the second screen going on up here to display things like, you know, information and shortcuts to applications and stuff like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and set everything up. All right. So I went ahead and I signed into my Wi-Fi and my Google account and everything is pretty much ready to go. Um, this is also the first phone to ship with Android 7.0 Nougat, which is really cool. Things are looking really nice on this phone. As you can see, the, the uh, second display up there is displaying my name. That's pretty cool. The drop down menu here, as you can see. 
Android 7.0 going on here. This is really nice. I actually like it so far. I can't really give a review on it. Um, I'm going to wait until the actual retail unit is ready to go, and I'll give you guys my full, honest opinion on this phone. But so far, I'm actually really liking this. I'll be doing some tests, so make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'll probably post some pictures that I take with this on Instagram as well. Um, but uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a really nice phone, and I'm looking forward to using it as my daily driver. Uh, the timing couldn't be perfect because my Note 7 is out right now. I shipped it out today and hopefully be getting it returned soon but uh for now i've got the v20 i'm super excited to be using this phone and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the unboxing so again this is the v20 i'll be giving you guys my full review hopefully very soon uh when the uh, official release is upon us so yeah there we go this is the lg v20 looking real nice thank you guys for watching this video oh my goodness oh my goodness i totally forgot to take a look at these <laughs> so before we end the video that was a complete new move on my part let's go ahead and take a look at these earbuds i actually forgot to take a look at the earbud all right sorry about that guys i actually forgot to take a look at the earbuds as well let's go ahead and take a look at the h3s by b and o so here are the h3s and wow these are actually really really nice not gonna lie i was never really a huge earbud person in the past so i never really bought a nice pair of earbuds so i'm gonna go ahead and say that these are probably the nicest earbuds that i've ever had aside from uh the wooden ones that i had a few months ago forgot the name of them but anyway um yeah here we go these are the h3s they look really nice um, they feel real nice presentation here is is cool it's got a decent cable um inline controls here which is pretty cool a little pouch here Oh, it's a nice pouch. I do like that. And then we have some extra ear tips to fit different sized ears. If you have weird ears like I do. All right. So these are the earbuds. And these are the ones that I'm going to be using with the V20 to test out that DAC. Um, if you guys don't know what that means, it's just higher quality audio. Let's put it that way. Uh, so these are some nice earbuds. I'm going to be testing these out along with the V20. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, let you guys know how I like everything that's going on here. That is it for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. That 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 was that was the worst video I've ever made. Sorry. <laughs>